Hello everyone, my name is Matt Harrington and I'm going to talk today about running F Sharp 2.0 on Mac OS X. F Sharp is a functional programming language from Microsoft which runs on the .NET platform. It's a common misconception that it only runs on Windows and costs money, but that's not true. In this short video, I'll show F Sharp running on a Mac under, the, under an implementation of .NET called Mono. Both Mono and the F Sharp compiler are free and cross-platform. I'm led to believe that Mono, not Mono, is the correct pronunciation as the project is named after the Spanish word for monkey. My email address is on the screen here and feel free to get in touch with any questions. So here's the end result. This top window is the popular TextMate editor with an F-sharp bundle installed. This bottom window is a terminal application called iTerm. I believe the author of the F-sharp bundle for TextMate chose to work with iTerm because it's easily scriptable. A common way to work with F-sharp is to type some code in the editor then highlight it, then hit Alt-Enter to execute it in the F-Sharp Interactive, which runs in the iTerm window. F-Sharp Interactive is a, is a REPL, or Read, Evaluate, Print Loop. It's just an interactive way to deal with F-Sharp. So let's see this in action. This is some code that I got from Stack Overflow, which computes uh, prime numbers. So like I said, a typical way to interact, uh, or a typical way to work with F-Sharp is to highlight your code, then hit um, Alt-Enter, and the code gets sent to the F-Sharp Interactive window down below and executed. And you can see that it did calculate the correct um, 10,001st prime number. So now let's set this up. Assuming that you already have TextMate installed, here's what we're going to do. We're first going to install Mono, then we're going to install F-Sharp, then iTerm, then we're going to install the F-Sharp bundle for TextMate. So first we'll download and install Mono. Mono itself is available from uh, mono-project.org. Simply go there and look for the download link. Select OS X. Choose your architecture. For me, it's Intel. Uh, and then download the framework link. You don't want to download the link which says CSDK. You'll get a .dmg file, which when opened gives you a .pkg file. And simply run this to install Mono. It's pretty straightforward. Next, we'll download it and install F Sharp. The best place to go for all things related to F Sharp is fsharp.net, which gets redirected to this page. Go there and follow the download link. As of today, October 2010, you'll want to get the F Sharp CTP, which is designed to work with Visual Studio 2010 integrated shell. This is also the version which works with Mono. So, this link right here. And what you'll end up getting is the F Sharp August 2010 Community Technology Preview. Download the zip file, not the MSI file. So download and unzip it, and you'll get a F Sharp 2.0 folder, and then, and then move that into the top level of your home directory. So here I am in the F Sharp 2.0 directory, which I put into the top level of my home directory. The F Sharp compiler and F Sharp interactive applications can be installed anywhere, but there's a DLL called F Sharp.core which must be installed into the GAC. The GAC, or Global Assembly Cache, is a central place where .NET stores assemblies. Basically, it's where shared libraries go. Search the web for more information if you're interested. In order to place F Sharp.core.dll into the GAC, it needs to be signed with Mono's key which is what the installation docs are, are talking about when they mention mono.snk. So if we were to try to install this right now, it will complain that the DLL isn't signed and, and uh, it can't install it, and it tells you to go here to get mono.snk. Um, but this is incorrect. So at some point since the installation docs in the August 2010 release were written, the hosting of mono was moved to GitHub, and the URL for mono.snk in the installation docs became incorrect. The correct URL is now on GitHub, which is this URL up here. So you can either download that file with wget, or if you don't have that installed, then just browse to this URL and choose File Save As. Call the file mono.snk and store it in the same directory uh, with your, with your F-sharp download. So here I am, um, and I've downloaded the mono.snk key, so now I'll try installing it again and um, now everything is just fine 
So finally, we'll make two aliases in the .bash profile file so that both the f -sharp compiler and f -sharp interactive can be easily run. So just edit your .bash underscore profile file and add aliases. These are the ones that I chose. So note that I have an alias fsc and an alias fsi. And uh, feel free to just pause the video and uh, set up your, your aliases in just the same way. So now we are um, back in shell and we want to source that so that the changes are um, seen. And then just to test it out, we'll just type FSI, and this is F Sharp Interactive right here. Everything's working just fine. And to quit, you type pound, quit, and then two semicolons. And that will give you back to a, a bash shell. So next we will download and install iTerm. As of October 2010, iTerm can be downloaded from iTerm.SourceForge.net. Simply download it and install it into your Applications folder. You may need to run the app at least once so that OS X knows where to find it. And I'm not 100% certain about this, and I can't test it out on my system since I've already been using iTerm for quite some time. But it wouldn't hurt at this point to run iTerm just once. And lastly, we will download and install the f -sharp bundle for TextMate. Johan Kuhlbaum in Sweden has written a TextMate bundle for f -sharp. This gives you syntax highlighting and the ability to easily take code from the editor window and run it in f -sharp Interactive. You can download the bundle from Google Code at this URL. Uh, so download it and then place the resulting uh, bundle into your library, application support, TextMate, bundles uh, directory, and it's called f bundle. And then launch TextMate. So here we are in TextMate. If your source file ends in .fs, TextMate will automatically go into f -sharp mode. And if, but if you have a new file that hasn't yet been given a name, you'll want to um, put f, uh, TextMate into f -sharp mode down here. And by default, TextMate, the TextMate bundle uses the enter key on your numeric keypad to send text to f -sharp Interactive. You can change this in the show bundle editor right here. So select um, eval under f -sharp, and then go down here to uh, the activation window. And I like to use um, Alt-Enter Alt or Alt-Return on the main keyboard, not the numeric keypad because I'm on a laptop. But um, put whatever you like in there. So then, um, once again, you can just type in some f -sharp code in the editor window here. And then you hit Alt-Enter or Alt-Return and it gets dumped down into the F-Sharp interactive, interactive window down here. The last thing I'll mention is that if in the F-Sharp interactive window you get something called warning FS0192 and then a stack trace, it's probably because you resized or moved around iTerm, the F-Sharp interactive window, and uh, readline got confused. And um, you can probably just um, quit the interactive window and fire it up again and this should go away. So there you have it, f -sharp 2.0 running on OS X under Mono, completely free, and um, you can get syntax highlighting in, in TextMate, and um, this should go a long way towards um, getting you set up in an environment where you can learn um, f -sharp from one of the many books out there. Um, but if this if this particular setup didn't really work for you, you certainly can use Vim or Emacs, which also has F-sharp support on OS X. So enjoy.